I really want a Mercedes. I feel like I can see myself in about 10 years with my law degree, riding down the street in my Mercedes Benz, with a ring on my finger, on the way to my mansion, living in Atlanta, Georgia. What's up YouTube, it's your girl Jada Jonay and I am back with another video and as you already see by the title today, I am back with yet another girl talk. It has been a minute, a hot cool minute since I sat down and talked to y'all face to face, heart to heart in a sit down video. I have been on the go for like the last month and now I'm finally able at a, in a place where I can finally just sit down, talk to y'all and just let everything out. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you are returning, I love each and every one of y'all. That's what I just want to preface this by saying. Y'all are amazing. And ever since this move, y'all have been supporting me every step of the way. And I just want to say thank y'all so much because y'all have made this process overall just amazing. A lot of y'all may not know, but exactly a month ago, I moved and so this is like my one month anniversary and everybody telling me like girl it's not that serious i was very adamant about posting a video today just because i feel like this makes this the 15th this thursday makes the exact day well the exactly a month that i have been living here and it's just so amazing like the flip that switch in my energy my mood my content like everything has just been falling into alignment i wouldn't have it any other way like i genuinely have been like all smiles aside from like i'm not always just super giddy and happy but just being here just being in this environment has just made me so happy and i'm like ugh, i'm just so excited every day to wake up and just see what the next day holds and it's, it's not a day that i wake up and i'm just like oh i just want to lay around like no i want to get up and do more and see more like it's just so much to do it's truly a blessing my first month so far has been amazing everybody has been asking me how atlanta is treating me i feel like y'all see it you see the material you see the consistency you see the smiles you see the joy you see the laughs like these vlogs i feel like i've been putting out have been so amazing they've been nothing but like just light coming from me i don't know what the shift was it shows me even more that this was the perfect move and i have grown so much i felt like when i got here i was gonna be sad i was gonna feel like i made the wrong decision i just wouldn't be able to take it i would be calling my mom my grandma like just y'all i'm scared i'm did some that like honest to truly i have not cried since that day that i drove up here i fully expected to be sad homesick in a state of just like i want to go back I vividly remember when I got dropped off to college, y'all. If y'all know, when I first went to college, I went to Clayton State. I cried. I sat on that floor and cried and cried and cried until my friend came and got me. And I was just so attached. I feel like this is like a testament of my growth. Really, me. I'm not attached anymore. I really can stand up on my own two feet, get stuff done, and move through the world as a woman and not child i just expected just to be so in a frenzy it's been the complete opposite i've been truly living my best life like i haven't even been doing nothing that i don't normally do what i've been going to home goods going on little walks um home stores it's just exhilarating being in such a new environment and i feel like this is exactly what i needed for me to get that push get that motivation like y'all know i've been going hard all year it's like oh i'm gonna take a break i need to pause when i move it's the complete opposite i'm just more inclined to work like i want to keep this up i want to i know it's bigger and better in this world for me to see i not know how big this move has been to me a lot of people are like oh she moved to atlanta like you know everybody do that no like for me this was a big step knowing who i am and knowing the things that i have dealt with like internally building from that it's just like girl you did it what more can you do like i just overcame so much that i never expected to I hope that i just continue to enjoy myself i continue to elevate god just keeps his hands on me and my life and continue to put me where he wants me to be everything that happens moving forward i really want it to be in my purpose and what god wants me to be doing somebody said how many celebrities have i seen i have not seen no celebrities at all i seen santana the other day 
I haven't seen no like celebrity celebrities or nothing like that. Matter of fact, everybody in Atlanta think they celebrities. Hell, I think I'm a celebrity. Sure, I will come across somebody eventually. And I don't really, I honestly don't care to. It's a list of people that I would be excited to see, but everybody else, regular people. Hey, what about my career? Is there anything that I would like to do aside from YouTube? I could be genuinely honest with y'all. I just want to take off so far with this that I don't even have to think about doing nothing else. Maybe starting a business or something like that. I've always said I want to have like a talk show. I want to be like a media personality. I always had all of these like jobs that I wanted to be all in one. I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a media personality. I wanted to be a news broadcaster. I wanted to be all these different things. And I feel like me starting a channel and like actually having success from it can only go anywhere but up if i keep at it like it can only go up the type of person i am i have a lot to say i have a big personality i have big thoughts ideals opinions i just want to take my platform to the very next level I, i've been very stagnant and i just want to start taking off in other aspects i want to be able to just be well-rounded so as far as another career i feel like this is the one that i want the most this is the one i'm betting on the most but y'all know i did go to hair school so that is another thing and that leads me into my next topic like of course youtube is my main thing content creation is my main thing and like i said i really want to take off as i'm taking off i still got to be realistic and remember that i have to be doing other things to make sure i don't get just lost in following that dream and i also nourish all my other talents and areas that i am proficient in because god gave me multiple talents god be very not walking in my purpose if i didn't explore all these talents and gifts that he gave me so that's more so like what i'm on right now like i want to dip my foot and dibble and dabble into multiple things and just see whatever works works and that's what's meant that's how i see it so back into the hair topic a lot of y'all have been asking if you know i want to go take my cosmetology test in april i don't think i really gave y'all life updates since then so i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know i did not pass my practical part of my state board i passed my written part the actual test taking part but i didn't pass the practical unfortunately i ain't gonna lie i would have really have rather failed the dang theory because practical is five hours so the reason why i have not been back to take the practical is because it's impractical i'm gonna have to drive to columbia be there for five hours take that test like i have to really block off time for that and i just have not had any time permitted for that if i'm gonna be honest is the reason why i haven't went to go back to take it my birthday passed i moved like it was just a lot going on i just haven't had the time to go up there so instead of a one hour drive now i have a three hour drive to columbia that i have to make my plan and my goal do not hold me to it but i plan to go and take it in september my grandma shout out to her she is about to start her ministry journey so i said that'll probably be the the next time that i go home because she's gonna do her first sermon every sunday that is i'll go and take my test that following monday i think that'll be perfect and very fitting don't quote me on it but that's what i'm thinking it's given september maybe october but i definitely want to get it out the way before i start enjoying like october november december all the holidays so i can just go into january like my plan start branding myself as an actual stylist another big thing with hair I didn't want to start doing hair full-time until i had my license i feel like with hair it's a huge liability and i know a lot of people do it but i just i don't know i just wanted to make sure that i had all my credentials before i stepped into something such as a service industry very adamant about going to hair school my goal for doing hair in atlanta which i'm so so nervous about which i don't know why i'm nervous like it's not that i'm not confident in my abilities however it's more so a lot to learn because as much as y'all love how i do my hair i am still a beginner like me i can eat down on myself but doing someone else is very much a learning curve especially when you learn on yourself it really takes practice and dedication and it's kind of what i was trying to do when i was taking clients outside of school around this time last year and i learned a lot from that as well still have so much more to learn on the job as far as what i want to offer i want to be primarily a natural hairstylist I want to do quick weaves maybe a sew-in or two here and there to do tape-ins clip-ins silk presses everything that i learned in school so hair color silk presses cuts 
all of those different things are things that I want to be doing. I feel like I really have like the natural hair aspect together. I really know very, very educated about hair itself. I can literally tell you, you can tell me what's wrong with your hair, what you need. I can help guide you. So not for me just being a stylist, I also want to be an educator. I want to be educating my clients and also telling them about the things that I am putting in their hair or what they're putting in their hair. I don't want to just be like, okay, you sit in my chair, I make you look pretty and that's it. Like, no, I want to care for the hair and that it's going to take a little bit more time for me to really just master everything my goal and my game plan i'll let y'all in a little bit on what i plan to do i was a sweet this is atlanta let's be realistic i'm already paying a lot of money in rent i don't know how i feel about paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars a week on a salon in theory that would be great but i'm not trying to work myself to the point where i have to get hella clients to pay for a suite Atlanta at that like a suite in this city is insane like it's like $400 a week for a nice area as I said like I wanted to not be in a salon setting I'm more of like a private setting I feel like I would be able to enjoy my clients and experience them a little bit more outside of an actual floor salon realistically speaking probably like start out maybe doing daily booth rent because I don't really have a clientele it's giving daily booth rent maybe run some specials I'm a little rusty, so daily boot rent as I'm building back myself up, spending specials, trying to gain that clientele. And I kind of feel like there is a nostalgic thing about salons. Like, I really want to find a really good salon where it's like a community aspect because one thing that I like about being around stylists is you can really feed off each other. So I really want to get acquainted with different hairstylists. And if I don't do like booth rent, I might try to find somebody to sweet with. Another way that I see people like saving money on sweets, not even opposed to that. That will also help me like meet people and network as well. I got to do my research. That's my goal is like finding a really good salon and starting to work in there part time, but not like full time. And where I can take doing hair. There's a lot of classes and stuff that I want to take to enhance what I already know, enhance my skills. All that comes with time. That's stuff that I have to invest into. So I said I want to give myself to January before I fully just stick my neck out there and be like, okay, y'all, like I'm taking clients. Here with me, I have a lot of y'all asking me like, when are you taking clients? Where are you doing hair at? Not yet, just give me time. This is still overall my full-time job, so I'm fully focused on content creation right now. Soon, sooner than soon, hair is going to be on the docket. Yeah, but coming soon, coming soon. I also changed my name from Sosa Diddy. See, Sosa Diddy was never supposed to be the brand name. That was like a boutique name that I had before. But the new and improved name is Hidden Gem Hair Studio. I feel like it's very fitting. I feel like I'm a little hidden gem. Like I'm, a, I'm like one of them people like, you know, you know. I feel like on the outside, people may have this idea of me and they don't really know like what's inside. It's literally like a gem. I feel like that's very on brand. Plus I'm a Gemini. So Hidden Gem. Hidden Gem Hair Studio, get into it. I rebranded. Also, I'm thinking about making Hidden Gem just my umbrella term. So you know how like somebody has like a brand and they have all this stuff up under it. So Hidden Gem Hair, Hidden Gem Boutique. Like if I want to start clothes, I just like that's very, very fitting for me. Like, plans for Atlanta podcast streaming, networking, doing hair. I kind of touched on this already. So if you watch my last vlog, let me say something about streaming. I don't know how serious I am about that. Somebody told me that I could do Discord or uh, Twitch. I really want to make the most out of everything that I'm doing. Right now, I have been having a lot of traffic on my accounts. And one thing I've learned, having that momentum, you want to keep it. Because social media can have its very, very high peaks and the lows are can go very low. Having that momentum, you want to keep going. You want to stay in people's faces. You want to be doing any and everything because that's the job. That's the name of the game, honestly. you got to be in the presence of people or they're going to forget about you. You want to dibble and dab in anything. I want to be on TikTok. I want to be on YouTube Shorts. I want to post YouTube videos frequently. I want to be on Instagram posting stories, taking pictures, posting reels because at the end of the day, what do I have to lose from doing that? This is my career and if you don't market yourself, who will? You have to go as hard as you want to. I learned in these last couple of months, the harder you go, the bigger the reward. I've been really like sleeping on myself these past couple of years. Like I got really lazy and this year I was forced to like grind, 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 grind. And when you got that grind, grind, grind mentality, when you want to work, when you want to like be one of the best, 
you're hungry and i feel like i wasn't hungry for a long time like i kind of just was like okay i did it like i got it i'm content but like being here i feel like i'm gonna be hungry i'm gonna want to go out to these events and meet people also i just want to do a small disclaimer anybody in atlanta have an event that i'm hosting on september 4th and i would really like for some of y'all to come out i think september 4th is on a wednesday so they're making a flyer for me to post and stuff like that and i would really like i, I don't know what time it is at but i would really like for some some of y'all to come out and show so if you're in atlanta um i'll let me know dm me or whatever and i'll send you the deets but i really want a good turnout i want to meet some of y'all i told them to schedule it a little bit out so i could give y'all some notice because they was trying to get me to come like the week of I was like hold on wait a minute this that's that's not enough like for jada to like step out on something like that and i don't even think it's like a super huge platform for me to like you know host something i gotta make sure like I, it's on the schedule it's on the books and not a couple days ahead so go ahead and mark y'all calendar september 4th i got something coming for y'all and i would really love for y'all to meet it i don't really know how it works but once they send me the flyer and all the details make sure that i let y'all in so that y'all can come because i'm excited I, i've never really scared at first but i'm like kind of excited now because i'm like let's do it let's go you know spaces like i said i just want to continuously go up and to go up you have to network and i've always been super super closed off i feel like i've been in my own little content world and like i'm scared like i'm terrified of that because if you know me you know i've had the same friends forever and i let new people in but once they're in we're friends forever so it's like meeting new people is always scary meeting people that do the same thing as you in this field can also be scary as well and i just i say that because of the things i see online nothing that i quite experienced like meeting new people is always scary because these are people that knew me for forever and know me before all the social media all the glitz all the glam they know me outside of the glitz and the glam so meeting new people can be scary because people have these expectations of you they only know you as far as you are on the internet and so that's why i always strive to be who i am on and offline i don't feel like there's really a contrast to either i feel like who you see on jada jone uh youtube account is who you see in jada jone in real life so that's why i try to be as authentic as possible because what you see is what you get with me and I just hope I'm getting that same thing with other people that I am meeting. Excited for Atlanta life. I foresee myself getting a lot of opportunities. And like I said, I can't let fear take me off what I what, what God has for me. Because I can be really scary. Like, should I go? I need a plus one. I, that'll bring me into friends and collabing with YouTubers. I told y'all time and time again, I feel like I'm a broken record. My goal is not to collab my goal is to create relationships i feel like i've gotten this far without collabing all this was me you know what i'm saying anything that happens outside of that is going to be genuine not thirsty for anybody to be around me i'm securing me and knowing that as much as networking and stuff like that is important i still will never be the person to just just because everything has to make sense everything has to feel right i would never be comfortable just being in the presence especially if something as intimate as just making me like i would do like a podcast like say someone says oh can i come on a podcast that's different but like as far as like collaborating i'm not thirsty to be in a mix i'm not like i said i got my friends i got plenty of them you can ever see me around somebody just know like i actually genuinely like them it's not because they create content like i do or they're pretty to create connections and friendships because at the end of the day that's what holds more weight to me as opposed to how many followers or subscribers somebody has or what they can do for me because i could do a lot for myself business is business don't get me wrong if i collab with youtubers so y'all call it to y'all it'll be a collab but to me it's gonna be like this is my friend this is my like this is my home girl better being able to have somebody around you that you trust and you genuinely love and care for and want to see when because when you build those bonds that kind of keeps out any weirdness you get what i'm saying it, it when you get to know somebody and you get to know like someone's backstory and I feel like a lot of times i see a lot of people like clicking up online and they fall out because y'all don't really know each other y'all just around each other because y'all both made youtube videos or y'all both think each other cute like is this person looking out for you is this person putting you on game is this person like actually like 
being a friend to you is the things that i think about when i want to be around people and want to learn more about people and get to know people when it comes to collaborations just know everything will be organic everything will be genuine and it will never be forced but like, like i said if, if it happens it happens but i definitely plan on networking meeting more people getting out of my comfort zone of just being in my bubble with my friends because there is something special about being friends with someone who does what you do because you're able to connect on a different level than you can with someone who doesn't understand. This is a job that you really only understand if you do it. I can joke with you about the email I got the other day. Girl, did you get this email? You seen what they sent or you seen what they put? Like it's something only y'all will be able to understand. And so it's nothing wrong with having people that do what you do around you, but just make sure it's genuine. Next question. Do I have any trips or vacay planned for the rest of the year? Y'all know I have been on the go. I have not been on a vacation the whole 2024. I took two trips last year. I haven't took none this year. If I don't take any trips this year, just know in 2025, I'm gonna go. Now, four quarters coming up, so I definitely have to like lock in and finish this year on a strong note. I got a lot of work left. I don't know as far as vacation. I I was kind of invited on a trip during the winter time so hopefully all of that goes together because i'm super like i'm super excited for that because that's somewhere that i've been wanting to go for a little minute so hopefully everything comes together with that as far as any trip outside of that i don't have nothing planned what is it august like maybe it, it if I did something spontaneous, I'm itching. Like I'm itching to do something spontaneous. So maybe like September at the most, but don't quote me on it. I don't really have no trips, trips planned except for the one that I was informed about. But everything else, as far as like a vacation for me, it's up in the air. I got a lot of obligations to uphold. Like I got hair videos I need to be doing. I got hauls I got to be doing. Like I got a work, lot of work to do. So until I got it, like I said, I got to finish everything. So I might reward myself like January, February, because I got to finish out this year strong. I got contracts I'm in. Like I got to finish this year out strong. So I might really take 2025, see how I adjust to like being here, paying all these bills, because this is the most I've ever paid in bills. Once I do that, I feel like 2025 will be a very like, relaxed time i'm thinking about taking a trip around that time like an actual vacation like i want to go somewhere i don't know where i want to go kind of want to go somewhere far like far far i don't know though so i'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and shoot for a trip like a real vacation like february march i want to go like before spring break and stuff start because i don't want to be super crowded business update as well all my stuff is looking to be projected till next year like i said i i'm the type of person where y'all know i told y'all about starting a business i'm the type of person where everything has to be top tier with me like i don't have step in nothing i do if you see me out i'm not half stepping if I'm going somewhere, I'm not half stepping. If anything that got my name on it, it will never be half stepping thrown together. So for me to start a brand, me to really put my foot out there and my neck out there and start a brand, it has to be top tier. And so as much as I want to just push something, I gotta wait till it's perfected. I gotta wait till I feel like it is amazing till it's branded to perfection. So I don't really think the business is going to come before December like I wanted it to. Like during Vlogmas is when I wanted to do it. It's giving more of like a birthday drop. But good things take time and I'm a firm believer in that. Like I would never rush anything I do if I feel like it's sacred to me and I really want it to be great. I'm going to put my hands on it and hold it down until I feel like it's the right time. So business update. Ain't really no update aside from the fact of like it's given projected 2025 if someone said a mental health right now i feel like my mental health is in such a great state i'm happy like i smile purely it's genuine it's not a fake smile i don't feel like i'm waking up and putting on a show and i'm really like coming back home and upset or crying like i cry about maybe stupid stuff like i'm not gonna lie sometimes i hate the fact that i'm not in a relationship that makes me sad i would watch a romance movie and get sad because I don't have no man. But at the same time, this amazing life that God has given me, I'm not pressed about 
really a relationship because I know my person is out there. I know the person that he has for me is out there. And when it's time for us to create this this life together and get married, start a family and do all the things, it's going to come when it's due. So I'm kind of in a place where I'm not rushing. I know a lot of y'all ask me about dating. I really don't be dating. Like I just be going with the flow. People ask for my number, but they don't be the right guy. So it's just like, I'm just wet letting whatever comes to me. Like whatever is meant to happen, it's going to happen. I don't have to force it. It's not going to be confusing. It's not going to be, do he like me? Do he not like me? He's going to come in my life and do all the things that I want him to do because God knows what I want. God knows what I'm looking for. And he's going to have that person straight for me. So having fun. I'm young. I'm able to just move and grow through life. I want to experience. Like I just want to date around, see what I like. It's nothing wrong with that. Like, when it comes, it comes. When it's time for me to settle down, it's going to be, I'm not going to be able to take no for an answer. I'm not going to have any questions about it. Like, I don't want anybody to tell me, like, this is the person you need to be with, or this person looks good with you, or this is going to be the one. Let me decide. You know what I'm saying? Let me decide. Let me feel that. If I feel that, it's going to happen. I, I feel like God is, is, is distracting me and elevating me just so that I can not be worried about that because too many times I fell into situations and the wrong thing just out of loneliness and it's like you're not really lonely if you have God you're not really lonely if you have good friends you're not really lonely if you have family um or a career things like I'm not really lonely and I'm not really lonely if I have y'all like how am I lonely I have 300,000 people supporting me oh I can't wear some I really love y'all how am I lonely? Like, a man will come. Um, until then, I'm a young, turned hot girl. Yeah, as far as my mental health, it's amazing. Like I said, I, I don't wake up and fake my smile. I don't walk around here with no attitude, for real. Like, I'm just happy. Like, everything is going the way it's supposed to go, and I wouldn't have it any other way. My mental health is so good right now because I've already dealt with the emotions. I've already dealt with the lessons that i've had to learn and it's just like now i have no choice but to respect it i gotta respect life i gotta respect how to deal with my emotions properly how to write down how i'm feeling how not to lash out when i'm upset and i feel like that's where i'm at right now like i feel like you gotta truly be like i don't give a <laughs> me standing on my boundaries and learning from the mistakes that i've made in the past was setting me up for success now whether that be in friendships relationships work it's working out for me so yeah so the last thing we're going to end this off with is what would i tell my younger self i would tell my younger self like even not even younger not even like baby jada like teenage jada pre-adult jada because 23 is like an adult adult i would say pre-adult jada was like 20 so like from the age of like 17 to 21 maybe i would tell jada like girl you did it like you're not finished yet but you're progressing you're growing like you're going places like I see it I don't know but I just feel it like even very young like I was always told like you got it you know what I'm saying from teachers from people in my presence I don't know I just feel like there's so much more in store for me I can't put my finger on it I can't even tell you where I'm going but I just know that God has something great in store for me like more than I can ever have imagined and I feel like little Jada not even prepared she not even prepared for what has happened now so I know she not prepared for what's gonna happen in the future I'm excited for her I'm excited for her and her driving in Atlanta <laughs> and her Mercedes Benz on the way to her mansion that years I ain't quite there yet um like six years ago my first q a and y'all asked me where do you see yourself in years and i remember i said like in my mercedes benz in atlanta and then flip the script a couple years later i'm like i would never move to atlanta you see how things change you see how god redirects us 
I feel like for a long time, I, I my mind was this big. Now my mind is this big. And I closed myself off because I wouldn't allow myself to see things differently. I had all these big dreams and these big goals and aspirations. And for a small couple of years, I allowed myself to just like... Or maybe that maybe I don't need all that. Maybe I could just simmer down a little bit and, you know, dim myself. I feel like I'm at a place right now where I would tell Jada, never dim your light, never settle, stand on your boundaries, stand on business. You know who you are. You're a star. You are amazing. You are sweet. You are gentle. You are emotional but strong at the same time um you are confident and you got it like you got it like you were made for this like you were created for this if you weren't things wouldn't happen the way they were because you were made for this you get what i'm saying so that's what i would tell jada she shouldn't have to question nothing because what's yours is already yours and i'm telling myself that now too because Sometimes it can get kind of hazy, like, hold on, what's what's going on? But no, genuinely, that's where I am. I'm in a really good place. I love y'all. Life would not be the way it is without y'all. That's why I try and get on here to talk to y'all every once in a while to let y'all know where my head is. If you don't be tuned in to my lives on TikTok, or if you're not following me on TikTok, I go live very frequently over there. So that is a good way to have one-to-ones with me and we really like chop it up and talk on there. I go live like every day so if you ever just want to see what i'm up to outside of my videos make sure you kind of keep up with me there i'm planning to post a lot more there as well so yeah but i think i covered everything like this was probably a great life update i feel like i just discussed a lot thank you all for watching i love you all let me know in the comments down below give me feedback talk to me down below i love talking to y'all trying to get back on my posting schedule as well my posting schedule is like all over the place right now because i'm really not working working i'm really a vlogger now a full-time vlogger now that's what it's be given but i'm trying to get back to posting vlogs on sundays hauls on fridays girl talks on tuesdays or thursdays it just depends so just bear with me and my schedule i know y'all be asking like when's the next video thank you all for watching i love you all please like comment subscribe and also turn that bell post notifications so you can be notified every time your girl post a video and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next freaking video